Hey everyone, with you Elena Litvinova and in this video uh, we will continue Layout Cosmos uh, which we started a lot of time ago but currently we are continue. I had some comments that uh, where it's next layouts, how we will continue and yes, this video. Uh, and before, of course, not forget to subscribe on this channel, press bell icon and go, go, go! First of all, I want to say sorry for the delay and yeah, uh, needed some time for rest. Uh, one year. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Uh, currently I continue. We will try continue this layout and finish it. And firstly, in this video, we continue with model window and try to implement it. And in the description under the video, I'll put GitHub link and also, um, also what? Uh, layout for Figma so you will be able to look at and to see how it looks like. Uh, so let's try do everything here. Uh, first of all let's download previous version Cosmos uh, layout yen. Uh, how you can see here there are different branches uh, where we will work and uh, the code already exists so I created it before this video and in this video uh, we will create the code together uh, and I will explain some details based on my code base so I made before. Uh, and okay, let's try to implement it. So uh, firstly, uh, go to model window and try to study what we have. Uh, and first of all, of course, we need to go uh, documents and git clone or any other folder which you need for develop your layout and just clone. Okay, when we do it, we go into the Cosmos layout, make npmi. This la layout we will develop on uh, Nest.js, Next.js, not, not Nest.js. <laughs> Currently I improve my knowledge and study framework Nest.js, so this is a totally different thing. Uh, here we using Next.js and React plus TypeScript, so everything very easy. Uh, and npm run dev. Uh, and let's look what we have. Okay, firstly, I need to switch on model window. So it's git call model window. So to show what we will do in this video. Uh, okay, and if we open um, our, our browser and go on, on the local host and try to start it, npm run dev and we will be able to see this layout. Uh, so in previous lesson we uh, stop on second layout so we made this uh, list and we will be able to open items here right and in this video we will create a model window so if we click on more we will be able to open the model window and here we have different things like that and for example there are different content for models so here you can see a uh, quite interesting title everywhere so background image different list of items here and also we can navigate between uh, model windows inside of it and also go next and also different title uh, different list of images and like that so every scene of it we will create here and let's go into the layout what we have in Figma. Uh, so uh, we have this Figma layout which I copied from the community uh, and how I remember it's mid license so you are able to easily uh, to use and try implement and it's really really awesome. Uh, and what we have here, uh, the second screen which we have, second section, uh, has um, uh, different items which we are able to open and each item had own model window. So what means model window? It means that we open some content uh, on our website, so put it like a uh, list of paper, I usually say like that, uh, on the browser. And so we can see 
different layouts here. So we can open first Badlands, Glacier Frontier, and etc. If we look uh, better on our layout, we can see that here there is a different with scroll. So here it's custom scroll, very independent. And I decided just make it easily and make the common scroll on model window in my example. So you, uh, if we a little bit work with our browser, so you will be able when I click more, I have independent scroll. I decided not make a custom scroll because it looks quite strange, this one. Uh, what is my opinion about different scrolls and custom scrolling? It's not very good to create a really custom scroll for your website and better to use native scroll or maybe somehow stylish native scroll because uh, on each different browser, uh, users al already uh, have and understand behavioral of scroll. And when you try to create something by your own, for example, even for your own site to create a custom scroll, which is the awfulest idea which you can do, uh, it's not very good. This layout, it's really a custom layout. So in that case, maybe it looks like, mm, okay, maybe it makes sense. But let's look on this scroll. So here we have a stone like that. And after it, we have a line. And how implement it? For example, we have a content here, which can be very, very large. I don't know. We don't know how many elements we have here. And how this scroll should work in that case or for example we have really small amount of content we can assume that we make this height of line smaller right because uh, when we work with native scroll this line became or larger or smaller depend on how much content we have right uh, and it's also some intuitive like you think right and here, how we can think about it? Uh, because this stone not looks like we make its different height for that, right? Uh, and um, we can manipulate with width, uh, with height, sorry. So make it uh, larger or smaller and depend on how much material we have there. But okay, it's not forever. For example, if we anyway have one million, I don't know, these things. So it will not work uh, correctly. And if we, uh, for example, manipulate with speed, uh, we have all, always the same uh, height and we manipulate the speed. For example, we move this stone and uh, if there are a lot of content, it's uh, very, very fast scrolling. If there are nothing content, we not scroll it at all. And what I should to say, it's very strange scroll and very strange behavioral and it's not looks like native behavioral and what it's really cool to do because of it i decided not to do this and not create some custom logic which can make customers and users awkward when you're using the layout and you your ui and ux and yeah, I just uh, cancel this behavioral, What is about everything else. So I uh, cr tried created everything the same. So titles, text, uh, grid, uh, everything looks the same. And in this video, yeah, we will go through it. Okay, uh, first of all, for develop this layout, let's go a little bit back. Uh, basically, uh, I recommend you um, uh, for starting purposes, so switch, uh, try to code with me, so not only me do that. Uh, you can also put comments uh, under the video, oh, I did it, I finished it, I'm so awesome, I'm so cool, la 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 la. And that's really, really cool. Try to implement the same and to send examples how you can do this. Yeah. Uh, and in this video, we will try implement. So I go to second screen where we finished before uh, and just start it where we don't have model. And if I reload it, okay, I see it. 
Uh, and currently I need um, Wes Scott editor. Oop. Uh, plus I make it a little bit larger. Uh, I put it into the documents and here. Ah, uh, yes, uh, of course. Of course. And okay, what we have here? Uh, from the previous lesson, we have some components here. And currently in this lesson, we need just to create a model and some additional components. Extremely easy everything. We just create model. And here we just put a model not index statistics. We write on TypeScript and here style uh, module as CSS. So here I used uh, as CSS. And what we need to do here, uh, if we go what we have here, we don't have model yet. So we click, we have nothing. And we need to just to add the model. Okay, let's start. First of all, what we need to do, create our component model window and just create this function, return everything is ready and that's it. And that's it, this just works, you know? So when you became a senior software engineer, it's everything works like that. So, and you open in the browser and everything is here. Interface, model props, model props. Okay, what we need to do here. So we have this list of elements. So, and how we can find it? Uh, this is art menu, as I remember, so this thing. Yeah, this is art menu. And first of all, I need to make some changes. So I put here a div element. So because this is not link, we not go into another page. We uh, just interact with this page and open model window on the page, uh, on the same page. So we don't need to go onto, into the another page. So I remove this and I remove href as well. Uh, here for art menu title, um, I just add um, art menu title. I just add cursor pointer. And how we can see, uh, we reload and we just have cursor pointer and here we go. Uh, okay, and what also we should do? Uh, I wanted to remove the opacity, basically. I don't like it, but I want to put opacity on this art button, a uh, card more button, maybe here. Over opacity, um, it's just interaction that we hover, we have some interaction like we user, we do something. Okay, uh, go next. Um, we have this item which is art button to put on click button and on click button we will pick up from uh, on click button from here. Uh, and this one we will shoot to go into the interface uh, and this is just void uh, and yeah on click button and we will pass this on click button from this component so here on click button uh, and here we go so we have a function here and okay what's next how we will show model window how it works basically it works very very easy so there is nothing i mean the magical what we can do uh, firstly we need prepare data so for each element here uh, which we have so we have a title we have text we have some elements we have background image for different um 
for different options and it looks like very unique model window so it not looks like a model window in which you can reuse for any other purpose of your website you can think that for example here there is the same because there is a close but here there is a next button which also quite close to the uh, current layout and because of it um, I decided that this layout exactly just only this model exactly just only for this list uh, and here i use fragment uh, and inside of it we need just manipulate with our model model and uh, just when we show it and when we not show it before uh, working with model we need to prepare our data for each link which data for model we have and how I decided to implement it so if to make this decision as a production ready so in production we usually work with data we for example can uh, download this data from any database or have it somewhere but because here it's basically a static website so we I decided to just manipulate with data here. Uh, you basically for React can use just JSON format and put close here or because this is a Next.js so you can use Next.js in very good way so to pass the data through the API this is also normal decision uh, but I decided okay make it easy and put it here so I basically developed uh, previous links we just have information about links I added to each of them model window model info and also we need to uh, implement interfaces for both of them so to explain what every interface has and how you can see, so model info uh, consists uh, from title, title URL, because these titles I decided to make with images. Uh, and these images, um, it not means that we will put on title only image, we will put also title, but as a background, we will use image. And how you can see this image is quite difficult for implement on CSS firstly I was thinking maybe to use CSS because CSS for titles is better of course and if you are able somehow to create this art in the CSS this is cool but at the same time it depends on how much uh, uh, how much lines you will have and I decided just not make me mad and uh, just to use a URL and of course title not forget content this is for this text uh, cover image for background of uh, current model window list of images this is this image images of list it's and it's depend type color or or dark so color it's like that if it's dark it's just a filter in CSS and when we hover it became bright again and art links these links consist from again from ID, href, title, image, active model window basically href I think we can remove because they are all the same and we just can say oh we are remove this and okay uh, so we have this uh, we have item art menu item uh, yeah and oh, what's wrong here oh we don't have href is missing here if we go here and just remove this because we really don't need href it's not a link and yeah uh, and uh, I removed interface props we don't have props here but we can return if we are going to edit in the in the future uh, okay, what's next? How to manipulate with our model window? So we can just create new state and put here model info or now. And when we will have the model window, uh, so, I mean information, we can show the information inside of it and that's it. Uh, and model, uh, just model currently, yes. And here and now we will pass all needed uh, 
properties, but currently we just implement it. And when we, uh, for example, click on the button, we on click button, we just set model info, this link model info. By default, it's null. When we click on button, we set the information for the model window. Okay, sounds great. Go next. Uh, how to develop this model window? So, what we need to have inside of it, which interface we have inside of it. And we have uh, next properties. So, is next. It's for understanding show we, should we show next button or not. And uh, how I assume the next button, it means that you go on next layout. Because of it, I make it not always uh, open it. So here I hide it because it's last element, but you can make it loop if you want. I decided to do like that. Uh, next one is background URL for the cover, what we have background image. On click close, we set model info now. On click next, we set model info next model info. We will pass, we will introduce it what is next model info soon. Title URL, this image for title, title, text, and scroll content where we have uh, elements, uh, this grid of elements. And okay. Let's implement everything step by step about next model window. Uh, so what it means? I decided to calculate it with Usmemo. Currently we already have React 19 and here Usmemo already not uh, required, but here I still used React 18 because use it. For me, and every framework or language or things around it, it's just about your instruments, what you have to implement something. And uh, if you know how to do the task, you will do it in any language. If you don't know how to do this task, you are not able to do it in any language with a new, I don't know, uh, things which this, which this language provide or framework or library or etc. Because of it, use Meme is quite okay to use if you have a uh, old React. No, old. <laughs> uh, it's not very old yet. Okay, anyway, uh, I decided to use Memo and here it's depend on model info. And if it's there is no, we will return null. If it's there is, I just have simple loop and go through, uh, check that this link exactly what we have in model window and we have next one and just save it like that. Very easy algorithm and save it here and just use it here. Also glass card. Mm, let's I here for some period put just like something like that. We will develop glass cards a little bit later. Before uh, let's go to model window and try to look at what we have here. Uh, and try to implement these things, what the interface which we had there. So first of all, we need to implement the interface. So to put here all properties which we pass and yeah. And uh, also, of course, not forget about styles, uh, art button and our text, which we will also use. Okay. First of all, when we open model window, we need to remove our scroll. Uh, so we should to um, remove our scroll from the main uh, body and to put it inside of our model window. So to make, uh, to remove any conflict. And if we go uh, with you to styles and we make a first implementation uh, model, here we have fixed class, background black, uh, cover, background size cover, over, overflow uh, Y auto. And let's try to work with it. Maybe it's already work basically. You see everything is ready. Uh, yes, but it looks quite awkward to be honest. Uh, let's go back to model window 
and yes of course it looks uh, awkward because we don't have glass here and uh, for make glass here first let's try do something like that so to pass class here and not forget to pass all properties which we have here uh, of course to remove any type and just like that do, do, do. Do, do, do. <coughs> Yeah, uh, and if we save this and open our browser, we see that uh, our model window open it, but we have uh, the body scroll. Uh, and for that, we need to use this class, which we created to go into our global styles, which I put it here. You should do look at previous videos with layout Cosmos. And here just say overflow hidden okay sounds great and currently if we open we see that there is no scroll anymore that's very very cool uh, okay if we go back uh, to our model and here we close here we close 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 um, we should return where art menu art menu and uh, okay let's look when i open our model i uh, put here cover image but looks like it's not showed but seems like it should inspect oh yeah okay <laughs> sorry i forgot for some things okay uh we uh, see the model but we uh, said this a picture we not see the picture yes of course we need prepare some uh, elements for our layout and here uh, we need what to do uh, we need to prepare our public uh, public folder so how i decided to prepare uh, images and things around it so if we go back here we will see a uh, model info information and i decided divide it like uh, put in public images so into global images and just save it like um, by um, folders for example this folder we have preview title model cover and just make a copy here uh, so we have images and I make copy all folders for this layout and pages, 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 pages. Uh, okay, public images and put it here. And all this part I also delete uh, because everything currently is here. So we have uh, badlands and inside of it we have all needed images for list, I prepare it for model window, preview, title and yeah preview uh, which I just removed and title as well and for every section is the same structure. I decided that this is, looks quite cool and easy and if we currently reload we see the background. Cool, very very cool okay uh, go next so we created this part what's next we should to do uh, we need to create a container for different paddings and things around it and inside of it we have header uh, header it's uh, two things so this two button one and two uh, and this is header and we just create it and what we have for header we have uh, art button so we already have this component and i added uh, two additional uh, types transparent and white and uh, yeah and if we click on close on click close so we call this a function 
and if we click on next we call on next function uh, it's quite easy uh, and uh, here from art menu we just need to we pass everything if we on close we set model info now so this model disappear or if we click next we set model info next model with info and just our model window update right okay we have new buttons and here we have also icon and because I don't work with icon as a sprite or something like that, I decided to use arrows uh, like just SVG. So it will be easily to change color because you really need HTML SVG, not just image. But here, because I not change uh, color, it's it was able to use image. Anyway, uh, I decided to use just SVG format here. But better if you have for any SVG icons on your website, better to use uh, sprites and to implement this feature. But this is not task of current video. I want to show you how implement this layout and because make some um, challenges a little bit easier, not trying to make everything, you know. So, and uh, here I just put icon like that and yeah. And if we go to you, okay, just left this art button. Uh, yeah, uh, what's next? Uh, next, what we need to do, it's just add, um, we have header, we have title, uh, we have uh, text and scroll content. It's basically not scroll content already, right? Uh, but anyway, we have text and we have uh, model content, which is with um, this different list of items, elements. Okay, and everything looks like that. Uh, so for H2, I use title, but as a background image, I use a title URL, uh, but uh, in HTML, we have normal proper title, so every uh, search robot we will be able just to read it and uh, understand. Yeah, and what's next we should to do? We should to add component text, new folder text. It's very also easy component, so index T6 and new file uh, style module as CSS. Uh, and what we have here in component text, it's very easy component, so there is nothing special here, sorry, not there put. Uh, it's just children and class name and we just try to manipulate with this text and that's it. Uh, and if we go into the CSS, CSS file also very easy. So font family move X, if we click here, we see it in the layout, font size, line height, math fix, and some uh, things around this layout and uh, margin bottom. I try to make it as correct as it possible because when you look on this layout, uh, you are able to see that space is quite different. There is no any logic here why the space is large or smaller, etc. And because of it, I just tried to make it quite good, not per pixel perfect, but quite good uh, as I think that this is really okay and spaces is okay. And uh, yeah, and here just a text component, which we import here, of course, and um, text import from the text and yeah, uh, here we go. And uh, if we currently reload our website and try to open and we see, right, uh, it works, <laughs> it works, it even works close, but it not looks very, very cool. But the text looks awesome, look at it, mm. amazing, just amazing. Okay, let's work a little bit on art buttons because uh, they are not looks very cool. So in this case, we just need to go here in our art button and just to add some additional properties here. 
and what inside later so we just need to add additional properties for white and transparent and if we go into the model uh, style and we somewhere here for example we put them uh, it's just only meant transparent it's white opacity and just manipulate with these colors to make it like on the layout and that's it uh, if we reload we see that our layout perfect there looks awesome everything like we need okay and next what we should to do it's a little bit work on our model so because it looks not very very cool and first of all let's start to work on our title uh, how i said uh, i used background image for title uh, but at the same time we have a proper title and if i remove background image uh, here and here we will see a quite proper normal title with normal text but if you need to implement any title uh, with the image it's not a good experience i do that because title is quite uh, unique and it's not easy to create with font or something else i uh, decided to use pictures first of all we uh, need to use text and then so remove shift our text as far away as it possible and uh, to add uh, text transform uppercase background repeat background position and things around it to add some margin background size of course contained and if we do here we see that every hour title it looks quite good now of course it's need to play with resize and to check that it always will everything okay but uh, it's like that uh, for text we also create some margin bottom so we have here class class name uh, for header we also try to implement to separate this button with quite easy grid so uh, display flex and space between right and we just make it like that so hop hop chida hop uh, <laughs> okay and let's make uh, some stylish for container so in that case we just uh, mean with 19 pixels padding uh, box sizing of uh, also safe and display grid so make it uh, spaces between different content and looks like that already just imagine everything works very very cool uh, only one thing about button uh, I want to add here I do no, did not this thing. Uh, okay, let's do this thing. Hop, hop. Do -do. Hop, hop. <laughs> yeah, just for uh, arrow to put a little bit away. What I had here, which class? Model arrow. Yeah yeah and uh, also for content padding bottom 50 pixels and yeah for buttons um padding left right a little bit more so we had here a little bit more space not li like by default and a last thing which we should work it's our glass cards uh and i left it uh on the end <laughs> yeah and if we go back to our art menu so what we have here uh, if we go back to our art menu and go here and we just need to put it here and like that uh, so um, here i decided to create independent component like new folder glass card and inside of it index t6 and new file style module css and what we have here 
so in the TSX file uh, we pass some information it's image URL and type color or dark it's depend on uh, color it or dark right uh, and uh, here just implementation so we have div inside of it we have normal image and we manipulate uh, just with hovers with filters and everything what we have inside of it so we have 100% uh, glass card uh, sorry class card I think it's glass card yeah uh, and uh, aspect ratio one to one uh, basically it's possible to make a uh, good aspect ratio ratio with padding bottom but uh, already exists a normal proper property aspect ratio and we should use them and later we just uh, a little bit play with it I'm not sure that we need this for um, our layout uh, I suppose that you use modern browsers uh, and um, okay if we go into the glasser we see that this is not easy thing so we have some interesting border here I not make it the same uh, I make it a little bit different so uh, sorry let's I implement here just hope save and um, okay it's need to make uh, some stylish here so to see it better um, stylish card list uh, and if we go to art menu and here go we are going here I just save not very good not very very good mm -hmm. yeah fix it yeah just uh, with some classes because I changed and okay currently we have uh, these glasses so these cards and when we can uh, hover we see this and you see there are different borders I tried to make the same like you know from this and this we have highlights and from this and this we don't have highlights and I just uh, decided to implement it with border image so uh, to make it like like linear gradient so from opacity white to a little bit transparent white and border width two pixels and it looks quite interesting something the same almost the same but there are some differences but anyway the border became really some uh, there is interesting border in that case yeah and if you look on our layout so we have a common scroll here and we can go next and go next and go next and if we open again we can open any different uh, model and we see everything here and different titles different text depend on our data and we can navigate and do things like that so and currently the layout is ready uh, and yeah uh, with uh, this animation I worked with uh, brightness so just manipulate with filters and yeah and for glass effect I use backdrop filter so with blur five pixels and because of it it looks like glass like very very cool glass like blue you know uh, so and um, and this video is finished all resources I put on the description uh, under this video uh, and I think I hope this layout was interesting for you and uh, you are going to implement it develop it and to do things like that uh, it looks like a quite interesting layout so with any different uh, things inside of it so title quite interesting text uh, inside of it and uh, these um, cards also very specific with ratio one to one 
Uh, yeah, and this video is finished. I hope this material was interesting uh, for you. And if you're interested to go further and develop more layouts, of course, not forget put like button, uh, put a comment under this video, and see you in next video with your Elena Litvinova. Bye bye.